300 to 100 sugars in 5 to 9 days is not an exaggeration because in the last 12 years, thousands of participants have already experienced it. So in this video, I'm giving you three tips and the logic behind those three tips. Last one is especially important. First, action and logic. As Indians, many of us tend to have two grains in one meal, chapatis and rice. Now, grains have 80% glucose in the form of carbohydrates. So we need to reduce that. So stick to one grain in a meal, either chapatis, rotis or rice, not together. And reduce the quantity from the current 40-50% to 25%. Which means if you take one chapati, take one cup of dal, cooked dal with it, one cup of cooked vegetables and one cup of salads. And always start with salads because they'll slow down the absorption of glucose later. Now, you may be more hungry, then you can have the second chapati or bowl of rice. But with that, you'll have to have the second cup of dal, sabzi and salad. And this will slowly start balancing not only your sugars, but your ghrelin, which is your hunger hormone and leptin, which is your satiety hormone, which makes you feel full. That's the first tip. Second tip, around two hours after your meals, sugars tend to spike the most, 200, 250, 300, 350. That time you have to attack. And what you need to do is, you need to do some anti-gravity work. Because when you work against gravity, in your muscles, the receptors start opening up with greater speed and they absorb the glucose in the blood. So there are two options. One is you do stair climbing, you go up and down steps, maybe for five, 10 minutes, just 10 steps, go up and down 50 steps, 100 steps. And second option, if your knees are a problem or low back is a problem, you can do nitric oxide dump which involves exercising like this, your upper body 20, 20 times, and that helps. And you can do it with one, one liter bottles also. And the third tip is to get rid of IGF molecule coming from dairy. So morning cup of tea or coffee or biscuits or cake, chocolates or curds and buttermilk, which contains IGF molecule, it interferes with the insulin action. And then if insulin can't do its job, the sugars are going to rise. So just experiment with this. Don't give up to your coffee. Continue it with coconut milk, almond milk, but try experimenting with this. And those who already done it, do share what all changes have happened. And these are just three tips. If you want to learn more, go to the bio section and subscribe.